What's going on guys? My name is Garrett and today we are going to be continuing with my app UI design series. So as of right now we've done the sign up page and the subjects page. Um, so what we're going to do now I think I said is we were going to going to yeah when you click on one of these um, one of these sections you can um, you get a list of books and then maybe on the top there's like a little search bar so let's let's do this let's copy all this over and maybe up here when you search math it'll say math um, and then you can have book um, I'm trying to think because maybe this is going to be too there's going to be so many books available that just a super long list is going to be really annoying to scroll through and everyone will probably just search so I'm thinking maybe we can categorize it even more and have like 100 level math 200 level math 300 level math 400 level math um, um, I'm trying to think here what the best way of doing this is. So what I want you, what, what I want to say what I want you guys to know is that when you're doing these and you have an idea like a, you're originally, and then you might think when you're actually going to do it that it's not actually it might not actually be the best way to go about it for the experience. Um, then you might need to change it. And everything's kind of fluid. Nothing's set in stone right away. Um, so let's see. Let's do something like. Mm, well, first of all, we definitely know we're gonna need like a little search bar. So we can put a little search bar up here. I'm going to come over to pattern tab and I'm just going to say search bar. Alrighty. Let's see. This is really cool. I like this. Maybe we could just do something where it's just a generic search. That would be nice if it was just a generic search. I like that. So you click math and it knows you're searching in the category of math. Whoops. Let's come back over to desktop let's see so this is a little bar we got here I just think it's gonna be a little big I'm just gonna shrink it whoops shrink it down to our liking over and then up and then we're going to do that and that cool um, we can have it say that enter your search here or m instead of just saying that we can say search math books and I think I want this to be light let's do that in the next light there we go 
and then really small, smaller. It's about that size. And these are. What if we did all caps search math books? No, I don't like that. We're just going to do search math books. Cool. And then we're going to have this little button over here. down lock it up with this one and then change the color to like that maybe something like that I think I want to make it a little bigger actually something like this cool awesome and then maybe ah, oh, I get it I get it I get it okay maybe when you search when as you type them in it just starts plopping down a list here so if you say like we can just say, um, just thought of this. We can say, um, like algebra 200. And then when you type that, then all these books pop up. get get it get it good cool and as you do them um, all these books pop up and then we can do text or no modify uh, what are we doing here text there it is and this is another thing I love about fireworks is I can just input placement text lorem ipsum and we can have it just go like this and do something like this. This is ultralight and we can have it be um, uh, I don't know, lorem ips. I don't know what the names would be so I'm just gonna do something like that. something like that and then right here you'd have a button and maybe next to it you'd have a button and these buttons would because you want to be able to do something once you see them so I'm thinking maybe you have a button here that says preview maybe it's too big something like that and then this button says like add just add maybe add to my books Maybe something like that. I still think these are a little too big. Cool. Um, oh, 
Oh, and then we can say like over here we can have like volume one or volume seven or something. We can have the volume. You know, because these these books change like every year, and it's a super huge scam, and it's annoying. Um, we can just do this actually, just to get the idea of how this is gonna work. I'm liking this though. It's looking really clean. It's looking really nice. As you search different names, different books come up, and then you can say preview the book, and then it'll have a book text. Anyway, getting a little yawny. Cool. Uh, whoops, I wanted this last one down here. Cool. Now, so we have that. We have that. Everything's looking cool. I like it. Search. Math. Awesome. And then let's see, we're going to need some sort of like a. Actually, I need to bring this over actually too. Um, we're going to need some sort of place for your my books so we're going to need that let's see what do I want this stuff and this this and this yeah cool This will say my books. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And maybe we have like an alphabetized kind of thing or subjectized. <laughs> uh, <laughs> something like that. Um, Let's see. My book section. And you can add, you can have a. Well, basically, what it would be is this. But in the my book section. Um, you could do it that way where it's just a long scrolling thing, or you can do it where these aren't. Obviously, these wouldn't be there, or this wouldn't be there, but um, that would be there, and maybe the I the the image is smaller. No, that doesn't work. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think how we would do this. Um. Because I don't really want it to look exactly the same as this, but at the same time, that would probably be the better layout. I think it'd be fine, actually. Um, you always want your spacing to be the same so that it breathes really well. And then maybe we have a, oh I should have done this before, but w you're obviously going to need a, or we don't need a button, they can just click the book if they want to read it. Um, we could have like a last read. Little thing down here, last read chapter 5, last read kind of thing. That'd be cool, so you can know where you're at, and you know like what's due when you have to read your books. 
Um, I'm liking that. That's nice. Yeah. And then if they want to delete them, you just do the basic swipe to the left and delete if you want to get rid of them. Uh, everyone knows that. If you don't know that, then you're welcome. Um, cool. Let's see. All right, so it's pretty basic, just a very basic app. Um, I think this is good for wireframing for now. Um, I can't think of anything else that I would want to put in it. It's just a ba really small, really basic um, app. Um, so I think I'm done with the wireframing for now. Um, I'll figure this part out later once I get to it. I'm not, you know, I'm not really there yet. I tackle the problems as they come. So once I need stuff, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, um, I think that'll be it for this video. Thanks for checking this, check, checking it out. Um, definitely watch the videos prior to this one if you haven't done so, and check out my other videos on my channel. Um, definitely subscribe and leave a comment below and like the video, please. And check out my website. Um, I think that's it. In the next video, we're going to be starting full color designing and all that good stuff, which makes everything look pretty, and it's awesome. All right. Thanks again, guys. Take it easy.